we can't go back. So we have to go this way. If we want the dark gem and the stupid spinny analog stick. Hey everybody and welcome to part 20 of Spyro a Hero's Tale. I'm Nostalgia Scott and this is a beautiful PlayStation 2 game where now we have to talk to Sergeant Birdbrain again for the umpteenth time. Uh, by Jove, Spyro, this heat is tough on me. I'm not a tropical bird after all. Still, I can blast off to see what I can find if you'd like, old chap. Yes, please, as much as neither of us want to do it. Shall I demonstrate our air superiority? All right, Dragon Egg. Last Sergeant Bird. We've done the last turret, last Sergeant Bird. All we have is one sparse. We actually have three minutes. Firebirds, Narcs, Targets, Time Gates, and Rings Targets. That's something I haven't seen in a while. We haven't seen those since the very beginning of the game. There, I think... Actually, I think Albatrosses and Yetis are the only... Actually, no, there's a lot of single... Uh... Use things in this game. Hang on a second, I gotta pause. Ugh. My upper lip was itchy. And I can't risk, you know, losing because I had to scratch. Why, I don't care that I lose. It's, it's annoying, sure. But it's something that is just bound to happen. Also, I wonder how many birds are around this volcano. Is there really only two? Oh, they're kind of just everywhere by the looks of it. Whoa, that one just flew out of nowhere. Oh, I thought that fireball was one, so I'm like... Oh, never mind, that was one, though. Oh, yeah, there's none there. This one actually doesn't seem too bad for the time limit they give you. I feel like these got progressively easier. The worst ones to deal with were definitely those, um... Oh, why do I have a feeling I know what the last one is? It was... Yeah, right back here. Alright, so we only have Norks left and Firebirds, and I'm assuming, yeah, Norks will be kind of on the outside of the map. They always tend to be, for whatever reason. Also, don't know why I did that, where it just kind of swung around, but... Okay, so anything over here? I don't know why I clicked that. I think i seen... Is that a Phoenix or a Gem? Oh, those are just Gems. Oh, there's the uh, last Nork. Now we just gotta look... I'm gonna call them phoenixes, not firebirds. Phoenix just sounds so much better than firebird. There we go, that was easy. The first one usually is. But let's be real, unless this next one's like a minute, it shouldn't be too bad. Hold out your hands. There you go, Spyro. I earned you a dragon egg. Hold out your hands, okay. And we're at 57. Not bad. I think there's, what, 80 eggs? Oh, when I said a minute, I was I was kidding, game. I didn't actually mean only give me a minute to do everything. Luckily, though, all of these seem to have the um, time gate ones, which is super useful. I gotta go... Oh, yeah. I really wish your power-ups would carry over, though. And luckily, the rings... Other than that one level with, like, the... Like, tubes and everything where, you know, things were really weird... Uh, the rings are all generally in a straight path. That one, they were a little mixed up from each other, which is fine and dandy and all, but still annoying. Oh, booster! Nice! Plus enemies over here. I know I'm probably going way out of order and going to screw us over, but I don't think so. Alright, phoenixes. Like a phoenix to the flame. The is that a saying? Phoenixes to the flame? There we go. Oh, that's gonna cost me some valuable time there. That's for sure. We only need one more ring, though, so that's good. Oh, there's a Nork up there. And that was the Nork that I had seen from over here. Oh, that was all the Norks! Pretty sure we only need... Oh, we still need three time gates. That's actually good. When you need time gates, it doesn't really feel that bad. But... Oh, and that's all the Phoenixes! And we're almost done all those too. And there's the last ring. 
Ooh, nice. Oh, and I think that's the last time gate over there. Oh, this was easy. Sure, we're cutting it kind of close, but still. That was our best one yet. Nice. Okay, Sergeant Bird, fun again. Like I said, the first ones were kind of meh. The, the last two, pretty good. Oh, great Scott Spyro. That was rather a tough one, I must say. But I managed to earn you a light gem. Is the same Great Scott really only spelled with one T and not two? Because my middle name's Scott. It's literally part of our name. For the YouTube channel, because it's my middle name. My Pokemon channel goes by Kel, which is the nickname to my first name, Kelly, obviously. And then my gaming channel here is technically Nostalgia Scott, which is my middle name. Which I use on my resumes a lot because I've had a lot of cases where they thought I was a woman and that kind of screws over my whole interview thing. Also, there's a weird little, like, zigzaggy pixel down there that's not discovered. It's kind of weird. And unlike most games, you can't explore the full map of, Sp of A Hero's Tale because, like I said, there are a lot of zones that are kind of, like, anchored off. And we can go in here now. I still don't know why we had to kill nine of those imp dudes or if killing them was even necessary. Alright. What I like about, um, uh, what was I going to say? What I like about dealing with Ice Breath is you can charge right through the enemy. And this, I assume they're actually wanting you to use Ice Breath a lot more because there's fire enemies. So, it's kind of nice that they're actually making us use the new breath type for once instead of not. Okay, there's nothing in here, that's for sure. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this section. This section looks like AIDS. Wait, there's just a free light gem over here. Thanks, game? I'll take it, but why is that the light gem? When the story pathway is, like, way harder to deal with. Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. Also, I'm sliding again. You see that? Wait, is that one a double one? No, it's just really janky. Yeah, I don't feel like dealing with you there, little buddy. And this should be close to the next money bags. Yeah, there's always a Zoe right next to the money bags. Also, I see they're doing the uh, little ground destructible spots again. And these phoenixes, I don't even know if, what their attack is, because I've never seen them attack me yet. Oh, they're also fireballs. That's great. I love fireballs. Projectiles in this game are just super annoying, unlike other games. Also, I see a cannon again. Collapsed bridge. Alright. Cool. Sir. Water bombs? Why are they giving me so many water bombs? I don't think water bombs actually do anything. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do here. Also, I still don't get why square is everything in this game. Uh, which one do I... Oh, there we go. Um, okay, it's a little over the top. Still a little over the top. This one should get it, though. Yep. Oh, and we automatically get the gem. How come sometimes they give you the gems and sometimes they don't? Like, is there a reasoning behind that? Also, that's it. Hmm. Okay, so that's the way we're supposed to go. So what we'll do is we'll go over here and... What's that down there? Anything? Or is that the, like, you're screwed platform, enjoy your life in hell? Because that's what a volcano is, right? The closest we can naturally get to the religious zone. Also, you know what? The pole vaulting thing seemed to have gotten a lot more entertaining, I guess. Pardon me if I don't want to deal with you guys, but... Oh no, not more imps. Sir, you and your imp brigade just really gotta go away. No, don't tell me... I'm gonna die because they can double punch you. Nice. Oh, and then the funnest part of this game is backtracking because for whatever reason this game is like 
Yeah, we're not gonna technically save your progress very much. Also, what is with the water bombs? It's like certain enemies are just like guaranteed to drop fire bombs. Also, is this really the only fire hazard in this zone? Or, like the section? You didn't realize it's not a challenge. These guys are more of a challenge in the fact that there's fireballs everywhere here. Wait, are the fireballs only in the one spot? Oh god, my jump got stunted because of uh, attacking. Oh, these ones charge you. Some charge you and some... Um... Oh, it's like a an enemy gauntlet type thing. Can you not? Yeah, that's all of them. Still don't get the whole point behind that. And once again, just the light gem. Just like that. Okay, we're making really good progress in this world. I'm not gonna explain, just kind of confused. Yeah, we only need two more light gems and two more eggs. And we still need two more dark gems, though, which is kind of funny considering how much of the stuff we actually collected here already. And once again, Ice Breath is your best friend, because, like, like, there's no hitbox on these guys when they're, uh, when you charge through them when they're frozen. Plus, it kills these guys who kind of need to kill for missions and stuff anyway. Also, isn't any of these armored guys slower? I feel like... I guess it's probably because we can actually just straight up attack them now. Oh, this is finally a branching pathway, huh? Yeah, okay, that was a dark gem and that. But if we go this way, we can't go back. So we have to go this way. If we want the dark gem and the stupid spinny analog stick. I like to use somebody else other than uh, Sergeant Bird for the thumbnail, though, game. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Wrong button again. Let's see what this does. Something with the lava fall, right? Hardens it, and it breaks apart. Alright, cool. That's only one more left. I think there's only one more level here, too, because there's only three sections to every one, so it'd be... St oh, wait, no! I think there's more than three in this world. Because this world was meant to be, I'm pretty sure, two worlds, but then they combined it into one. Okay, that was delayed. Anything over there? Or is this just another straight of- wait, what? Hang on a second here. I can't make that. I straight up cannot make that. I'm pretty sure we have to loop around. Never mind. Alright, so it looks like we have to go back this way. Because we literally cannot get that far. Spiral doesn't have like some kind of super glide ability in this game. Which I'm pretty sure it's the only Spiral game where Spyro doesn't fly at all. Because every other Spyro game, including A Hero's Tale and the Game Boy games, has some kind of fly. Alright, so what's this? Lumber storage in a volcano. My favorite wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I'm your favorite wallet. Alright, we just gotta wait for this lava geyser. I thought it said that the ice breath could freeze geyser. Wait, can it? It said, like, it can do water and fiery geysers, right? I don't see it doing anything like that. I also love how these enemies despawn, like, off-screen. Hey, a checkpoint. Also, how come I triggered that that time? Now we got two more branching paths again, so I guess we have to decide which way we want to go. Alright, so is it pointing me in the direction I'm looking? Okay, it points you in the direction. This is just a loop-around zone. If this is, like requires a light gem door, then I could see that being a thing. But I don't think it is. Egg thief, maybe? Ah, oh, I hear him. Yeah, there, there's an egg thief around here. Kind of assume so. These weird little zigzaggy zones are generally egg thieves, or a light gem door that leads to an egg thief, because most of the egg thieves are in the doors. 
Come back here, sir. 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 I want to get on with the video already, buddy. Come back. Stop gaining speed as I hit every little rock in this zone. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Free egg. And a chest, which is probably just worth gems, like everything in this zone is. Yep. We only need 40,000 gems, you know. We only need one more egg, though, and I highly doubt it's in here. Also, what's over here other than gems? Also, did that not hit me? Wait, what is this? Why is this separate from the rest of the area, but still in the main loop around? That's weird. Oh, okay, just loop. It technically did loop around. Okay, so there's no light gem over here. But I'm only missing one of each. No, I'm missing two. And we're still missing a dark gem, though. So I'll probably finish off this entire world in this episode. Because this world seems to be another one that we can 100%. Because then we still have the mine, which I'm pretty sure is the next zone. And then red zone. So I think there's four here altogether instead of two. Well, that's what I heard. For these stupid little imp enemies. I thought I seen another imp, but it was just the fireball touching. Eh, I don't care about those gems. You can grab these ones anyway. Oh look, enemies, guys. Oh, more of them are respawning. Or not spawning. Or respawning, spawning. Did he just spawn over here? Who cares about you, dude? There's some weak wussy enemy. These, on the other hand, are something that I'm not a big fan of in this game. Are the like environment not environmental hazards but like man-made hazards nork made hazards whatever you want to call them they're just awkward to deal with all right this looks like a pretty straight path until right here and then we can go in here don't tell me that this is actually worth something just tucked away in here now we're only missing one and i have a feeling it's in that path with all those switches because that seems kind of odd if that's just a connecting pathway. I guess Sergeant Bird's gonna be the one used for the uh, thumbnail, like, anyway. Alright, there's another save point there. Oh! Actually, never mind. That zone won't loop around because it physically can't. Also, why do we take damage there? That was weird. Okay, what's in this cave? Oh, let me guess. Nothing. Oh, and there's the last egg here! And another breakable wall? Okay. I need more keys, though. I can kind of see why I spent a lot of money in this game originally as a kid. All the keys. Wait. Oh, we went that way. This doesn't look fun, though. Okay, nothing over there, it seems. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this leads to the next zone, so I may have to go back to that one in another episode. Or even in this episode and check it out, because there's got to be some way we can deal with that. Maybe there was, like, an invincibility pad or something, and I just missed it. Because I remember seeing some kind of power-up pad somewhere. It could have been in that area. As I'm pretty sure, like I said, this leads to the mine, because we know that Red has a dark gem mine. What's that? That's the way we're supposed to go, but at the same time, we can also go this way. So what's this way? So remember, we're trying to find a way in. Oh, I think this is just a different way around. Yeah, because this is the... the other pathway. So I guess it didn't matter which way you took. It all led to the same thing. But this is the last dark gem here. All we're missing is a light gem, and that's it. There we go. Oh, wall platforming. Yeah, I think before we go to this area and do anything, we're obviously going to go here for the uh, checkpoint. Uh, this is interesting. Oh, there it is. Thank you, and let me guess, we're going to have to... Oh, no, we're just going to go down like this. Can I fall? Oh, you can't fall like you could in Spyro 2 and 3, where if you're on a big elevator, you can just fall down to take a shortcut. Because remember, Spyro doesn't have fall damage, but this is a good opportunity to have a drink. I remember the game getting pretty difficult 
That or I'm thinking of Jack and Daxter when you get to the... Like the dark uh, eco mines, you know? Oh, this place looks intimidating. Not fun at all. Not fun at all. I think I hear a bat. Wait, I just destroyed that wall somehow. Yeah, because now we're in this... Wait. Magma Falls Top. It only has one... One dark gem? And six... Gem, light gems and five eggs? What the heck? There's gotta be the Sparks minigame. That's what's here. Like, I'm like, there's no way there's gonna be that much stuff here, you know. If it's just that short. Also, it looks like we can just... I'm surprised, because in the original Spyro games, if you charged into a firework crate, you'd actually take damage. It would still explode, but you'd take damage from it. Oh, no, not these guys. Why these guys again? That shouldn't have hit me there, enemy, but you do you, I guess. Die. Ooh, this looks not at all intimidating. Mm-mm. Uh huh. This way. Cause this looks like the ball gadget. Ow! Wait, if that's the ball gadget, then oh wait, it's just the ball gadget mini game. I forgot these even existed. Wait. Does this zone even have... Like, was I supposed to go... Oop. Oh, wait, there's checkpoints in here. That's interesting. Oh. No, no, no. I see what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to change the way I hold my controller because of the fact that... They make you... Ah, uh, there was no indicator, indicator that that would have been an insta-kill zone, but... And then for these guys, you gotta go speed past them, that's for sure. Wait a second, hang on, I wanna die. Can you... There's a light gem in there, guys. Let me die. Now, where was that? Oh, friggin' duck, man. You did it again. Also, it's really hard to die by those guys. Oh, it stays open! Was not expecting there to be... Wait, what? Why did he kill me that time? Wait. They continue on... And then he didn't... Uh... Oh my god. And then it just... I don't get hit. Oh, if this game had lives though, guys. It would be... <clears throat> Who designed this? Who? Wait, I had no way to... I guess I could have just stopped, right? There we go. I didn't even get to click the jump button there. Um, so, remember I clicked the jump button and I didn't make it? Alright. And you didn't make it again. Kill me. Thank you. I was worried that there'd be gems and stuff in here, but... Okay, so square just didn't work. That's nice to know. Alright. There we go, now we can get to... Wait! You do realize that there was no way for me to physically make that then, right? Alright, let's go. Wait, am I supposed to actually wait that out? That'd be annoying. Okay, weird question, but how am I supposed to make that? Game, you do realize that to jump that, I have to have speed, and then to even remotely figure it... Wait, how many do they spawn? Because those look infinite. 
Oh great, now these enemies are back to being cheap shots. Nice. Wait, why did he swing? Like, he didn't slam down. Okay, one, two, three. That time he made it, that was weird. Okay, we... I needed a lay of the land, thank you very much. Oh yeah, that was a, another egg. Alright, so it looks like to get over those, you're gonna have to jump. But now it doesn't matter which way we take. Hopefully this way is easier though, like the regular way. Oh, I actually had to take both pathways. Get, did not expect there to be another one. I hope all the collectibles aren't in here, because we're definitely going to have to come back here and uh, check it out. After we do this, though, it's, it'll probably be the end of the episode. And why did I prematurely jump like that? Also, I'm scared. Oh, looks like we're going to want to go through as fast as humanly possible. Okay, there we go. Now, Magma Falls Bottom, one more... Oh, wait! Those were actually part of... this zone. Alright, Chains of Lava. Um, we're gonna actually use this to go to... Yeah, we're gonna go here. Because I do want to go and check that zone out again, because I feel like we missed something. Hmm. I should have bought health. Was it that way still? Yeah, okay, it was still this way. Sometimes I actually like the fact that the breath button though is square when doing the jump things, because in this game you can't do like the jump charge things worth a darn. Oh, of course. Luckily his hammer doesn't seem to hurt you when he's frozen. Okay, good. We got the checkpoint. Which means now we can go this way to this little guy. Cute little nork. Yeah, because there's like a checkpoint in everything here, which is really weird considering they put two side by side. Dying is actually beneficial because we need health. And yeah, because I don't know how hard this part's gonna be. Wait, never mind, I can make that. Maybe? I don't know if I actually can or not. I just really wish the enemies wouldn't respawn, you know? Oh, of course, the double jump just doesn't work. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get over there, and then in the next episode, that's where we'll start, and we'll go back to the zone before the whole ball gadget thing, because we clearly missed something there. See you guys next time. Remember to join the Discord and the Patreon in the links below. Leave a like, because it helps out the channel. It gets, you know, it out there to more people, and I hope you guys...